Hi Scorpio, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do uh, your weekly reading. This is the week of May 17th. Please remember it is a ch uh, general reading and timing is flexible. Everything else you need to know is in the description box, personal readings. If you'd like to enter my giveaway, I do do a monthly giveaway. And then lastly, my new channel, Heal to Love 333. It is a meditation, healing, and manifestation channel. I've included some popular links below uh, for opening up the chakras, clearing blockages, healing, so that you can manifest love and abundance in your life. I've also posted or put a recent video below for manifesting and attracting your true love. So check those out if you like. Uh, please subscribe, like, comment. I do appreciate all of your support. And let's get started with your reading, Scorpio. So I'm going to pull some cards here from the Archangel Power Tarot cards. We're going to get three messages for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What does Scorpio need to know? Okay, you have the three of Ariel. You have the Eight of Michael. And you have the Chariot. Okay, so let's <clears throat> see your energy here, Scorpio. So three of Ariel. This is an energy here of do what you love, a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors, working with others in a cooperative manner. So this is can be teamwork. You may be working on some sort of project, coordinating with somebody. Okay, so there may be something that you're working on here where you're going to either work with people or maybe you need help um, with other people to, to get this done. <clears throat> It can be, you know, this can be career. This also can be love. So this can be the energy too of you and somebody working on something together. Now you have the eight of Michael. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So this is like that eight of swords energy. So there may be some sort of fear, okay, um, or same anxiety or something that is keeping you stuck here and it may be um you know either having to work or coordinate with other people this could be a job situation could be a work situation uh even love here but they're they're saying here to break free of that okay make that change in your life here okay you're going to see things a lot clearly now you also have here the chariot archangel uh Metatron number seven, determination and self control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. So, yes, this is saying here if you can break through of that um, stuck or fear mentality, here there is success ahead. So, beautiful, beautiful energy. This is also cancer energy. Could be dealing with a Cancer. You also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So, whatever you're you're needing to work on, collaborate with someone. All right. Uh, it says here there's going to be success ahead. You know, it can be like it said, a career advancement. Could be a relationship. Could be your business. Could even be a situation with family. Okay, just whatever messages it is for you, take it. This is the weekly readings is anything goes, okay? Anything can uh, pop up in this reading. <clears throat> All right, let's pull some tarot. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. I pray that this reading for Scorpio is for the highest good and purest intentions. I pray that you give Scorpio the accurate messages and details they need to know for their journey. I pray that this reading will give them clarity and healing if needed. I thank you for your love, your wisdom, and your guidance. And may there always be love and light here. Amen. <clears throat> thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Scorpio the week of May 17th? Let's get three cards, please. All right, so. 
So you have the Seven of Swords. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Eight of Cups. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Magician. And beautiful. And you have the Ten of Pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Lover's card. Okay, so I'm going to call out the signs uh, for you. Know that the, the person you're dealing with can be any sign, um, but if your sign pops up, all the better, and roles can be reversed. So you have strong Gemini energy here. We talked about Earth energy already. You have uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and again, Air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So in your recent past, you have the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups. I feel in the recent past here, this can be some sort of strategy, okay, wanting to make some sort of offer or receive some sort of offer here. Um, it also can be, I feel this also could be somebody around you, maybe was offering something but did not have the best intentions. We're going to clarify this as well. You have the Eight of Cups and you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like in your current energy, it, it feels like you feel like you are putting in a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of effort. But, you know, this person looks like, you know, they're drowning, okay? So they're not feeling good about it, okay? They're, they're trying to get up to the top. They're trying to get up to the rainbow and the star here. So I feel like it's that energy of like, you feel like you're working hard. You're putting a lot of work in. Um, some of you may have a lot on your plate and, and just feel overwhelmed, okay, emotionally too. In your near future position, though, it's beautiful energy. You have the Magician and you have the Ten of Pentacles. It shows me here there's a whole new beginning happening here. And I feel like it's with this decision you're having to make. Something you're going to be breaking free of, okay? You're going to start to see things clearly. And a whole new beginning is going to happen. It does need some teamwork, some collaboration, um, but this is going to give you success in the situation. With the magician, they're telling you here too, you have all the tools and resources to make it happen. You are the magician. Now, bottom of the deck, you have the lover's card. Okay, look at that. You have the lover's card and you have the eight of wands. So if this is a love situation, there is somebody coming towards you. It could be a new love. Um... Maybe some of you are needing to put yourself out there, okay, uh, amongst other people here with that three of Ariel. Um, you know, making some sort of action, being determined, having control, okay, because um, I do see here there's some sort of soulmate or loving energy coming towards you. Now, this could be somebody else that you already know where there is communication and, and collaboration, teamwork, working together uh, in this situation. Now, if this is not about love for you, I feel like this is something that's very close and dear to your heart. I feel there is um, a change in the energy. <clears throat> I feel you're going to start to become more passionate about what you do or whatever the situation is for you. There could also be some travel here I'm seeing as well, some distance in the situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just going <clears> to <throat> take a, a sip of my tea really quick. Clear my throat. All right. Let's uh, clarify, why is the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups here, please? Why is the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups here, please? Okay, you have the Six of Swords. That's that travel card I talked about. The Chariot again, double confirmation there. And you have the Queen of Wands. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Justice card, strong Lib Libra energy. All right. So I feel like in the past, if you felt like you were not treated fairly in the past, 
Um, I feel that's changing here with the Justice card. There is going to be an end to that situation. So there may have been a, a hurtful or painful situation in the past. Something was devastated, like I said. Uh, someone There could have been someone who did not have good intentions or this could have been you, you know, strategizing, you know, hoping for that offer to come in. You have the Six of Swords, the Chariot, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're moving on past this. Okay, you're taking control. You're breaking free of that energy, whatever it was for you. And this is going to change your situation. This is... Also, too, you're going to start seeing things more clearly. You've learned from that past experience. Uh, some of you may actually be making some sort of home move or doing some traveling as well. Okay, but I feel like you are starting to break free of maybe old patterns here or things that weren't working, and now you're feeling more passionate. Why is the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles here? You have the Magician again, double confirmation there. You have the Palace of Coins. And you have the Ace of Cups, beautiful. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Hangman. So I feel that energy, you know, where I was saying you were feeling overwhelmed or maybe you feel like you're drowning, you're not getting to where you want to be, you're working really hard. You know, it does show me here that there may have been some delays. But this is also, too, I feel thing, you seeing things from a different perspective because you also have the Emperor card here. You've got strong Aries energy. But I feel this is also you seeing things from a different perspective and now you're taking control um, of the situation. For some of you, this could be about your own business. Now, clarifying those two cards, you have the Magician, the Palace of Coins, and you have the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I feel this is that energy that um, there is a new beginning happening here. Your hard work, even though it feels like you're drowning or you're, or you're overwhelmed, or maybe you're putting a lot of time and energy into a situation and you're not feeling satisfied, that is going to change here with the Magician. You have the Magician here too. So I feel there is some sort of benefit uh, that is definitely going to come out of this. You have the Palace of Coins as well and the Ace of Cups. So there is something that is going to come out of this that was is really beautiful that's going to bring you stability, whether it's financial stability, whether it's um, a situation in love, okay, and again, the Ace of Cups, a gift from the universe. Your cup is going to be overflowing. Okay, You're going to feel really good about it, even though you're not feeling good about it at this time. There could be a little bit of a delay Okay, as well. So why is the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles here, please? Why is the Magician and the Ten of Pentacles here? You have the Queen of Swords. You have the Hanging Man again. Yeah, and you have the Ace of Wands, and look at that, Three of Wands. You have opportunities coming through for you or something that you have been waiting for. That opportunity is finally coming through. I see that here with the Queen of Swords. I feel like this is about you being very logical, discerned, making head-over-heart decisions. As the Magician, you're creating a new beginning for your life. The hanging man, this is, you know, again, seeing things from a different perspective, all right? What you've dealt with in the past or the fear um, or whatever was holding you back in the past has now made you see things from a different light, a different perspective, um, and you're making good choices here. And now you have the Ace of Wands. There's a new opportunity coming in for you. As I said, look at that. You have the Ace of Coins with the um, three of wands there is a new opportunity coming to you you had the ten of pentacles here as well something that's going to bring long-term abundance so as i um you know as i said if this is a business or a career or something here um i feel once you break free uh from the stuck mentality or you know feeling uh fearful I feel like there is a beautiful um, payoff here, okay, with this Ace of Wands too. 
very uh, nice energy here for you, Scorpio. Okay, but there is some sort of need of collaboration, right? Whether this is in love or this is uh, has to do with your finances. So let's uh, pull the possible outcome. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What's the possible outcome here for Scorpio? The week of May 17th. That one wants to come out. Beautiful. Okay, bottom of the deck here you have the Queen of Pentacles. Look at that. Yes. Something you've been hoping for, wishing for. Okay, this is the wish fulfillment card, and I really feel like this is what you're manifesting. Look at this. You have the King of Pentacles, and you have the Queen of Pentacles. If you're manifesting a relationship, I feel this is this is coming in for you. Okay. A lot of passion here, a lot of emotion, beautiful energy. And look what's below the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Two of Cups. So whether this is, you know, finances or love, this is something very dear to your heart. And I feel this is something you're going to feel very good about. You're going to feel stable. You're going to do well for yourself. Uh, very attractive energy. Very, I feel too, very, very connected. I feel spiritually you're going to be very connected as well. Okay, so we talked about the King of Pentacles. Then look at that. You have the Empress. Okay, this fell with the Magician, the Ten of Pentacles. There is a lot of abundance coming in for you, a lot of growth. Okay, some of you may be even a single parent, a single mom, a single father. Um, but I feel this is more about you manifesting these beautiful things in your life. Okay, but it's, it's coming out of a place of being stuck maybe you felt stuck in the past or maybe now you're even feeling stuck okay so very nice way to end your reading there is a wish being granted here for you scorpio so let's uh pull one final message this is a message from your spirit guides thank you uh spirit guides for your guidance what message do you have for scorpio <clears throat> Dearest Scorpio, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called into two directions, and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle, and now you can see that everything changes is made new and is giving new hope. Love you always. Wow, beautiful message there for you, Scorpio. And right on point with your reading. I hope you enjoyed your reading, Scorpio. Again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.